an All Australian, and that was five times. Yeah. Now Hall of Fame. Anzac Day medalist, oh, Hall buddy, of Fame. It, every single premiership, there's not a box you haven't ticked, Swanee. Yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It's nice to come in. I might come in most mornings. Do if you? I can hear that kind of pump up when I get out of bed. Whoa, <laughs> what? You're just out of bed, That's eh? the most complete <laughs> resume you, you'll ever read. Uh, Simon Black's is all right. Shut up, fat. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking to I'm Simon talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look at that and go, was I that good? No, I don't really look at it a lot. Um, Not really. Uh, it's just one of those things that... The Hall of Fame happened, so I guess someone thought I was good, or a panel thought I was okay. Hey, That's funny. Yeah. I watched that, yes. and I was really pleased to see how chuffed you were, because you bloody you are a legend, and everyone when they heard you were going in thought so he bloody should, but then you could see on the TV screen how happy that made you, which yeah. I thought was great. Yeah, no, it was awesome, and it was also great to have all the boys there, which was yep. probably more important if anything, just. Cause it takes a lot of work, and we know football is a very selfish sport or professional athlete. And um, to have everyone who who helped me along the journey was great. But it's the one thing that um I wasn't real pleased with was you know when you're lucky enough to be winning all Australians or Brownlows or Best and Ferris stuff, you get no, you get compensated monetarily, right? You, oh, get, yes. you get a good check in your yeah, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. in your contract at the end of the year. Well, when I was speaking to the Hall of Fame, I was like, oh, so who do I invoice? This is going to be this is like the <laughs> oh. big. Say that. Well, I was like, this is going to be the biggest, this is the, you know, the biggest, That's highest honour you could no. ever, ever receive. Like, it's going to be a massive check. It's going to be a new house. Um, get up there and get a certificate. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just did, a certificate. Oh. Did you was, have to uh, pay for the table? No. Um, so I was close, lucky enough to ask, ask for one, another one, one for the Rat Pack and then one for my friends and family. Yeah. And then I had a third because um, Collingwood were on their bye week oh. and... There was going to be no representation from, from Collingwood there because they were all interstate yeah. on, on holidays. So they didn't give a hoot about me. So they were all away. And um, I suppose the footy club now can be bribed or bought pretty easily. And instead of make up for it, we'll buy you a table with your friends. I said, done deal. Oh, so, so you didn't even pay for that. Yeah. Perfect. And you had your dad. Who's a bloody good player, your dad. That, yeah. That'd be good if, if we just be serious. To have him there in your family. But oh. you don't talk about a lot. No. But they've been with you the whole time. They've been through the good and the bad. And that's why I wanted him there because whether you're digging ditches, a plumber, an accountant, yeah. an AFL footballer, you know, the people who were with you from the jump are the people that are going to be with you at the end. So um, I just wanted them to come along and mm. know individually what, how much they meant to me. And, you know, that was they were a huge part of, of my life and, and my career. And um, one day, I know a lot of the VF, VFA players don't, Go into the Hall of Fame, but it'd be great to see my old man go into Ooh. the Hall of Fame at some stage. But that's a Billy topic for another day, maybe. Billy no, Tom. I'm with you. That you, the writing, the writing of the punches is something that people who watch spot on don't understand. You know, I had an example of on the weekend, Swanee. My young bloke cracked his ribs. He spent four and a half hours waiting for mm-hmm. a doctor to see him in hospital. His mum, because I'm at work, sat there with him, yeah. and that's just a junior footballer. So yeah. by the time you're on the big stage, they're sitting in the stand. All sorts of injury happens. Yeah. They've got to race down the rooms. I mean, it's bloody tough. Exactly. Mm. And also in, when they're sitting in the stands, not like um, Dakes, I mean, he gets to sit in the comfort of a box. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, like most, the most parents are out in the stands and playing for Collingwood, do, I guess your parents hear some pretty the or, abuse. Or ordinary things <laughs> exactly. ordinary things about your son. You know, exactly. And they come up, is that true? I can't come over. How do you know him? Well, it, was, it was crazy. Um, is that true what they said about you? So it's half it's not yeah. bad. Sometimes that sometimes I have to lie to him. So maybe, yeah, maybe that one was true. Yeah, you can't kick. <laughs> yeah, floats well, floats him well, through. I always went through. That's well, You weren't the greatest kick, were you, Dunny? No, you? no. That's why I had to get it a lot to make an impact. So that's what I tried to <laughs> but do. But they went through. They'd float. Somehow float through. Yeah, it's probably a bit like my running style. You wouldn't say I was the most, <laughs> yeah. wasn't a Usain Bolt. I wasn't the most pleasingly yep. aesthetic person, <laughs> no. aesthetically pleasing person to, to watch, but I guess I was kind of efficient. Oh, uh, bloody And up. when you kick that goal on Anzac Day, oh, your guts. The guts. that's one of my favourite <laughs> moments. <laughs> yeah, well, mate, you know, you're not allowed to call people fat these days. You go to jail. Yeah, oh, he's fat. Yeah, well, well, so that's why you can say it. You can say it. You're fat. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, that was that was a win for the um, for the fatties out there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. We're right. all cheering. We exactly. had our little group exactly. up there, <laughs> yep. high fiving, but none of us got out of our seats. Well, it was an honour. <laughs> It was an honour to be in Fat Club back in the day. It was. Yeah, bloody it was. Yep. So you're not. Let's finish on the uh, Hall of Fame. That night we uh, all heard was it went deep. Yeah, no, it went certainly went into Thursday. <laughs> oh, no, oh, yeah, Thursday. Um, it was a it was a big old day, and I tell you what, having a big old day, <laughs> big, old, big old night and a big old day, then a small old night. Um, 
Tell you what, having a, a big crack on a Tuesday really throws your week out of whack. <laughs> well, I thought it was Sunday for about three days. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I woke up. I thought, geez. And, um, so I went back to Crown because I actually thought the, the function was at the Palladium. Yeah. Mm. So I figured. That's always like, there. I, yeah, yeah. So I told everyone, book a room at Crown. We, we had a villa. So I just came to my room yep. and enjoy the night. And then my mum rang me about four days early and she goes, you know, it's not at Crown. So, she, so <laughs> every everyone's <laughs> had to, everyone's booked Crown. So I went back there and yeah. it was about one, two, and then, um, Got kicked out. Any so. stragglers <laughs> or, or out. Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, so. Actually got kicked out. Uh, I'd not like grab your bags. Oh, like, 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 shut up. Too many noise complaints. So we, um, Chris Town was kind enough to open his house. So we all went back there. <laughs> <laughs> any stragglers like any other clubs yes. represented or no, just think, Collingwood? No, um, no, just Collingwood. I think everyone was a bit too, uh, too intimidated. Yeah. Well, I, I asked, I asked Chris McDermott. He said he wanted to yes. be there. No, he, <laughs> he said no. So, uh, <laughs> I think it's bones too old. Bone, too old yeah. bones. <laughs> Mick, I asked Mick if he'd like to come oh, back. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple others, but um, no, nah, they all politely declined. So um, hey, we need to take a little break oh, with the superstar. Mm. I want to talk Pendles. Scott, Pendlebury. 100. How? I can't even say it. Well, we're Dane Swan next on the Rush Hour. Holiday Eve on Grand Final. He's got a big event happening, JP. Oh, what's yes. going on? Tell us about this. The Dane Swan Play Zone. Oh. Yeah, are, you, are you telling us? Or? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm oh, okay. just uh, yeah, leading yeah, you in, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, so um, I guess pre-COVID there was a heap of grand final parties. I know Virgin used to throw a big yes, one. Yes, and then, But I think maybe since COVID, it's sort of been lost. A lot of sportsmen's lunches and functions and that kind of thing. Nothing that's party-wise. And yep. I guess you used to have been in the Super Bowl. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like the, um, I guess it's, Mimic on a very, very smaller scale, like, you know, Shaq's Funhouse. Yep, yep, I heard about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so I've been there, so that kind of thing. So... Um, play zone, if, you, if you're not aware, is like a two level sort of um, activities sort of warehouse with bucks, parties, hands, nights, corporate functions. So it's got like a bucking bull, like a bull you can Oh, no, on. don't you get on it. A bucking yeah. bull. Yeah, you, you yeah. tore your hamstring last time you rode something like that. Fucking bull. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, like axe throwing, you can throw axes, just oh, not, oh. not at each other, but yeah, um, in, in a cage. Um, it's got like all these other little activities. Um, you know, giant ball pit, which the boys are pretty proud of. So, and you got to find your <laughs> golden, golden balls. balls. Yeah, so we're gonna like a big giveaway, big prizes. So there's gonna be it's a big ball pit. Um, <laughs> and mine are gold, unlike yours are probably blue. Philly, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not anymore. Oh, wow, no, 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 Thursday night before the granny, so yep. it's public holiday the next day. So like, right. so like I said, there's a lot of like lunches and dinners and stuff for all the people, but this is like a, a proper party. It's going to be good fun and hopefully it goes really well and then we'll try and expand it next year and be this will be like an annual event that everyone will want to be get tickets to, I guess. How no, we... 99 bucks per person gives you bottomless drinks for two hours, 7 to 9 Jeez. p.m. And there's $5,000 in prizes and giveaways, JB. Nice, like that. All right, stuck into that now. Scott. Yep, you're great, mate. Penalty. He's playing his 400th game, which I, it's hard to get your head around. Yeah, no. For some reason, I always expected Boomer to. Yeah. I just, but when I looked at Pendles, I thought this is actually a bloke who's played inside midfield his whole career. It's actually astounding. It is, isn't it? It's, uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, I don't know. Well, I know how he's done it, but um, what you see, you know, what people don't see, I guess, is how he's done it. Like the, the, Countless hours he puts into his body and the stuff away from the football club that actually no one sees, all the stuff on his off days, the getting in the freezing cold water on off days and the mm. Pilates and the yoga and the stretching and all the stuff that none of us care about or want to do. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to be sitting on the couch watching the basketball on the day off and he's up doing all this other stuff, getting his body right. And it's been phenomenal. So it's, um, it's a credit to himself and what he's done to himself to get himself right. And I guess the other thing is with Scott, when you get to like his age or get over 30, that the biggest problem with football slowing down is when your body can't get to where your brain expects it because your yeah, brain's right. still sharp as a tack, but if yeah. your body is slowing down or you've had injuries and you just can't, that millisecond because the game moves so fast, once you slow down to that, you, you're sort of gone. You look really slow. But is that what you found, Bill? Uh, yeah, but about 22. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. He's not the fastest That's player. That's what I mean. The fortunate thing about it, he's never had any leg speed. No. So he hasn't, had, he hasn't had leg speed to lose. So the thing yeah. about him, he, he grabs the ball and he just faints. It must be... I'm not sure if you're aware, but he had a basketball background. Yeah, <laughs> so food, apparently. Yeah. So yeah. it um it may be like he just sort of gets it aside and he just stands and like faints yeah. and stuff like that. And everyone just jumps out the way and then he gives the handball. <laughs> that holding of the handball out yeah. has yeah. fooled fifteen years of football. Come at me, exactly. come at me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. So he's never burst he never like when's the last time he don't argue and burst out of a packing yeah. he doesn't do that, he just grabs it and just 
Mate. Everyone just runs yeah. away from him. It's incredible. Well, you so, made him. A, you made him what he was. Well, early. he stole a Calvinus from me. So, Did yeah. he? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. What about yeah. early days? You said you were going to take him under your wing, and he I worked tried. you out pretty quick. I tried. That's why he's played four hundred, and I played two hundred and fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and what about your other mate, Daisy Thomas? Bloody Eddie, he everywhere. The crap out of him. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's on radio, mate, because <laughs> his uh, his head still hasn't um, returned to normal since I belted it. <laughs> he is everywhere, Swanee. Mate, he is. He's trying to take over Ed's job. He's everywhere. Every time turn, turn on Fox Footy or turn on Channel Seven or put the races on or put the radio on, yeah. I'm hearing and seeing Dale Thomas. We've just surely the public have had enough. No, no we have. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> we have. Yeah, he's everywhere. I don't know, don't know how the man sleeps. Well, he certainly, he certainly does it on weekends. I know that. So no, he is. He's flat out. Ooh, yeah. How are you seeing the Maggies, your beloved uh, Magpies? Yeah, they're just going. Yeah. Why that, is that? Do you think just an injury thing is caught up yeah. with them, or what is it? Yeah. Well, I've, I've got a couple excuses for them. If you want to hear them. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I believe that winning a premiership in this day and age takes an unbelievable physical and mental toll on, on the players and the club just because of what it takes. And you look at Geelong and Sydney in their grand final two years ago, none of them played finals the year after and everyone thought they were gone and cooked. Look at them now. Let's look at Sydney or even, and Geelong. They're both Sydney finishing on top and Geelong are fine for a top four spot. So I think missing the finals might not be the worst thing for them. They'll get an unbelievable break and then their bodies will refresh. And the other thing I thought hurt them was playing in round zero. Like yeah, right. Them and Brisbane, I know Brisbane have obviously stormed back and and, don't, and um, obviously probably flagged favourites now, but I don't know why they wouldn't have given round zero to another big club like a Carlton or an Essendon who didn't play finals. So Collingwood and Brisbane got the shortest amount of break after mm, playing yeah, a, a very, very long, stressful pre uh, season. You know how... Collingwood's games have been in the last couple of years, how hard they've had to come from yeah. behind to come back. So yep. I believe that it's the physical and mentally tired. They look a little cooked. Well, even the win against Richmond wasn't outstanding on the weekend and they're probably not trying to win. You know, they're, they're finishing on the bottom. So, but massive game. As long as we beat Carlton this week, yes. then, then all, all will be forgiven. We did it a couple of years ago when we knocked them out of the eight in the last round. So listen, they're just going, but, um, the good thing is they're mathematically still a chance. And I know when you start talking mathematics, it's not great, <laughs> yeah. but but yes. they're still a hope. So, um, yeah, it's been an up and down year and a lot of injuries, um, but what can you do? You can't win it every year. No, nope. true enough. Well, uh, Swanee, it is great catching up with you. We don't mm. see you often enough. We used That's to fine. see you regularly during the footy show days. It was always yep. fun. So it's Don't get asked in here. That's why. No, well, <laughs> I thought you'd written a book or something. That's why he's here, but it's for the Dane Swan Playzone.com. Yep. Just Google it. Eventbrite and get your tickets. 99 bucks per person. Two hours of drinks. Oh, right. It's happening the Thursday of back there. grand final Absolutely. week. Exactly. And $5,000 oh, really? worth of prizes. Wow. Dane Swan on the rush well, hour. Swanee.